Alicia Navarro has allegedly been found after she ran away in 2019. Alicia vanished from her home on the 15th of September 2019, then aged 14, leaving behind a signed note that read, I ran away, I will be back, I swear, I'm sorry. But now 18 years of age, she is at the centre of a missing persons case after she left her home in the middle of the night from Glendale, Arizona. Alicia had been diagnosed with high functioning on the autism spectrum and was an avid video gamer when she apparently vanished from her home. But now, four years later, Alicia walked into a Montana police station over 2,000 miles from her home, declaring that she wanted to be removed from the missing persons list because she wanted to get a driving license. Police involved in the investigation said that she appears safe, she's healthy, she seems happy, and since their discovery, police have upped their investigation, searching a flat and questioning four individuals as they begin to peel away the layers at the last four years and find out what exactly, what happened, who did she go off with, how did she get all that way over there and was anyone involved. No one yet has been arrested in connection with her disappearance, but latest reports suggest that following the inspection of a home, Alicia has now fled her apartment with the 36-year-old man that she was staying with, a man named Eddie Davis, who was apparently a Walmart night shift worker at a local Walmart store or he was let go several months ago, a former co-worker said. So Alicia is now an adult. She can make her own decisions on whether or not she wants to remain in Montana where she currently resides or whether she's going to return back to Arizona to be with her family or go elsewhere. But regardless, the investigation still continues and it comes after she just walked into this police station. Alicia and her mom are yet to meet in person, but it's been reported that they had an emotional phone call and it's now believed that she has left this apartment that she was staying in with this 36-year-old man. The mother has said that she believed her daughter had been lured away by somebody she'd met online and it's not something that just happened out of the blue, she said. I don't believe that she was just lured away thinking that she was going to have some kind of adventure party or maybe love. The teenager, like we said before, had this high functioning autism and but she, you know, she lived her life fairly normally and she was able to deal with it. At the time, a silver alert, which is a rare emergency notica notification for a missing person with a specific cognitive or developmental disabilities, um, was raised. But now she's home. Her name will be taken off the missing person's register. She appears to willfully have left the home and she's not in any kind of trouble. And it's unclear how Alicia got all the way to Montana, which is more than 1,200 miles away or 1,900 kilometres away from her mother's home. And the case remains under investigation. But her mother's now had a video conversation with Alicia over Facebook and she's not released any details. But she said she wanted to give glory to God for answering their prayers and for this miracle. I mean, it's a good, it's a good outcome. She may have just gone off and been taken away by some crazy man and never been seen again. It happens so frequently. But the mother of Alicia, who was found safe, said that she's been harassed since her daughter's discovery, saying that her whole family had been under attack over the internet and the public has gone from trying to help Alicia to doing everything like trying to show up at the house and putting safety in jeopardy, her mother said. A man has temporarily been detained, I'm not sure if that was the 36-year-old man, after the teen turned up, but Montana Police Station officers stated that his apartment was also searched, but he was later released. This four year long investigation or search, should we say, has come to an end. I think the investigation is still ongoing as she walked into this police station and identified herself to officers. She was very apologetic to what she put her mother through. Apparently she understands the pain that she's caused her mother and said that it was not intentional on her behalf and she's hopeful that they can have some kind of a relationship. But Alicia's now since had a brief video call with her mother, like we said, and, you know, they have their own journey to go on. 
Um, they've got a lot of stuff to talk about and a lot of stuff to do first, but she's safe. Um, and her mother said, I hope people wait for the facts of the case before making their own accusations and assumptions. But just recently, over the last few days, um, Alicia, who is now 18, was seen running errands with this 36-year-old man, um, identified by neighbours as Eddie Davis. Um, she flashed a smile as she played with a dog outside his parents' trailer park at the Fort Belknap Indian Reservation in Harlem, Montana. She appeared to stick very close to Davis in the blistering heat, um, left in a dark van and went around the corner to neighbour's home where the pair and one adult believed to be his father unloaded stuff as the woman who is believed to be his mother was sat nearby and Alicia was seen playing with the dog in the front seat of the neighbour's home with a bright smile during the visit. So it's a good outcome. Like we said, she could have been taken off by some crazy person um, and all sorts of crazy, horrible things could have happened to her. We see it all the time. Um, and people, um, they're never found or they are found and it's not a good outcome. So really pleased for her family. I'm certainly not going to make up any assumptions or accusations regarding the case because I don't know where she was for four years, as most of you probably don't. But the facts will all come out eventually and we may find out more about Alicia's four-year um, four missing persons case. So thank you for listening, guys. I will be back with you again soon with some more information. Take care and look after yourselves. Stay safe. Bye, guys.